Okay, let's create a very simple table of contents. Now I already have a file created called TOC. I'll just drag it into my book panel. So basically it's just the same page size and a blank page. Uh, now also, here's my TOC. I don't want it at the end of my book. I want it at the beginning. Now also notice the page numbering is a different style. I'll show you how I did that in a moment. Let's bring this up to the top. So there we go. So now here it is. Let's open it up. Now let's check out the pages panel. So if I double click on this triangle here, if I go to my file menu and go to numbering and section options, you can see I chose a different style for the page numbering for this document. So here's all the different styles that you can choose. So I'll just say, okay, that's what I want. Uh, now, even before we make the, the table of contents, uh, let's fix the page numbering. Uh, what I would like, I would like chapter one to restart numbering at page one. So that we can also do that right in our pages panel. Again, I'll double click the triangle here and I'll say start page numbering at one. Okay, all right, that solves that problem. Uh, now there is another problem that we can solve here also. Uh, this number up here, this is a text variable. So this is looking for the chapter, this is the chapter number text variable. It picks it by where it is in the stacking order here. So right now it looks okay, uh, but watch what happens if I update my numbering which is something you should always do before you finish. Update all numbers. Now you don't see a change right away. Watch what happens when I zoom in over here to change, make the screen redraw. That changes to four. This changed to three. And that changed to two. So that's no good. Now we, I could have fixed that also at the same time. Let me go back to my page numbering. I'll come over here and then I'll double click on the triangle. And again, down here, I could have just said start chapter numbering at one and I'll say, okay. All right, so that's that's all fixed. Now we don't see a change. I think we have to update our numbering again, update all numbers. And when the screen redraws, you'll see everything is okay now. Now chapter two is chapter two, chapter three is chapter three. Okay. So I'm gonna go, go to my table of contents document. I'm gonna go up to my layout. Down on the bottom here, you see table of contents, update is grayed out, table of contents style. So you can create a style, which is just a bunch of presets. Uh, now, I already have one made, uh, but let's let's create one from scratch, a very simple one. So I'll just say new. I don't know what to call it, so we'll just call it new TOC. Now, what you have to do is, well, first, first you have to decide, do you want a title for it, you know, on the top of the page? Now, if you don't want it, you can just get rid of it. Or you can rename it to whatever you like. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it for now. Let's see. Like I said, we'll make a very simple one. Now over here, uh, to make a TOC, table of contents, InDesign needs to know the paragraph styles. So this is one reason why it's always important to create paragraph styles. So you have to tell what paragraph styles you want to include in your table of contents. So this time we just want chapter name. Uh, we'll just add it over here, or you could just double click, it goes over here. Now, once you add it here, the next step is uh, how do you want it to look? So it's going to look for chapter name and it's going to put that text in the table of contents. Now, over here, pick out a style that you want to see. Now, you might not see this initially. You may have to click this more options button here. So let's say we wanted to use, now these, these styles I already made ahead of time. So I want this to be table of contents 
chapter name. Now over here, uh, you want a page number, yes. Now you could put it before or after, or you don't have to have one at all. Uh, let's put one before the entry. Now what do you want between the number and the entry? Uh, this is a symbol for a tab. There's a whole bunch of other things you could choose from, but we'll just put a tab. Uh, we're not going to worry about putting character styles. Now down here, pretty much you want to include book documents. PDF bookmarks, that's good. So if we create a PDF, this will be working. Uh, and then we'll just say OK, and that'll save it. Now let's say OK. Now let's create it. Uh, go to Layout, Table of Contents. Uh, choose the style that you want to use. So we'll use the new one. I'll say OK. Click over here. And that brings it in. So that looks kind of ugly. But what you can do is uh, then you just edit the paragraph style that you told it to use. So if you don't like that, I'll go to my paragraph style panel. Uh, right click. Edit TOC chapter name. And we can do some things like maybe let's set the tab so that it goes someplace. So we don't want it that way. Maybe we want it this way. There we go. That looks better. Uh, now also let's give it an indent. So you can set your paragraph indents. Oop, got to go back. Not enough room. Got to make this closer. There we go. So we don't have too much room for an indent, but we can move these guys over here and make a little indent. Okay, there we go. So that's not bad. So if you like that, we'll say okay. So like I said, kind of boring, but that's that's how it works. Now this will update whenever you make a change. If you were to add pages or remove pages, this would update. So just for just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go to chapter two over here. And I'll temporarily just add a couple of pages somewhere. I'll just drag to master pages over here. Let's go back to our table of contents document. So now what happened there, um, what that's going to affect is the next chapter is going to be different. Now this does not update automatically. You have to select it somehow and go to layout and we could choose update table of contents. So there you go. So now the beginning of page three of chapter three is now different. Uh, but let's get, let's put that back the way it was. Get rid of those two pages, drag it to the trash, go back to our TOC and uh, update it. So this, you have always have to remember to update it. So there you go. So now that went back to page 85. So I think you know how to, how to do this. You just use your paragraph styles and style it to make it look the way you want it to look. So that ends part three. Please watch part four.